Guys, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. And in today's video, by the title, of course, you can see that this is going to be a preparation guide on that update that's going to be coming out tomorrow, September the 8th on Wednesday. And what do you need to do to get ready for Plague Star? Actually, that video is coming out tomorrow because I'm kind of new to Plague Star to be worked on. It's just you haven't tried it out yet. So, you know, when I find out, I'll make a tutorial on it tomorrow. Uh, when it does come out but Nitus Prime is also coming along with the weapons which are going to be the Shrun and the Magnus Prime respectively. Now there is going to be a Necromic Prime and if I'm correct that's not a skin that is going to be a separate Necromic Prime that you can uh, possibly get and uh, grind out. And of course Revenant Deluxe which I'm very happy about because I've been waiting for my Revenant to get a good skin for a long time long time and of course we have the ghoul or the gneer uh, chainsaw buzzsaw massive saw whatever you want to call it uh, we're going to be getting that weapon as well and i'll make a review on it uh, when it of course comes out so a couple of things that i would recommend you get ready so let's talk about nidish prime and of course the shun and the magnus prime so what do you need to do here what i would prefer you do and how to easily even buy it on day one with platinum or with money, of course, because there's going to be Nidus Prime access and you can purchase it with money. So, a couple of things. Of course, uh, besides purchasing the Prime access, uh, you can do this in two ways. You can earn the platinum by doing relic runs like I am in the background. Uh, you'll see later down the line. I'm going to earn myself a Vobin Prime Neuroptics, which is worth around 50 platinum, which is a decent sum to earn you know, in like three minutes of running. Of course, this is luck based, uh, but you can wait, for example, for Friday, grind out as many, as many ducats as you possibly can until Friday and then sell it to borrow Katir and then just sell it to other people, the prime weapons and the warframe, oh, sorry, not primed weapons. There's no prime weapons in the uh, borrows uh, market, but you can sell the Prisma weapons and then the other sort of weapons that he sells. And you can also sell the primed mods for platinum as well. I showed you a video on that, you know, a couple of you know, weeks back. The annotation will be up in the in the top right corner, and you can check it out there. Now, if you can, if you don't want to spend platinum like right off the bat, because I am guessing it is Nidus Prime, he is gonna cost a hefty amount of platinum, uh, and I'm pretty sure that the Sun is gonna cost. I think at least 200 platinum. The Shun Wraith was a good weapon. Uh, the Shun Ordinary Shun was pretty bad, but the Shun Wraith was a good, good weapon. And I'm guessing the Shun is going to be decently priced. Not 200 maybe, but decently priced. Nidus Prime, I think, is going to go for around 300 platinum, if not more, or if not just a little bit less than that. But you can get the relics pretty easily just by going into your syndicate. And you'll, you'll see the video in the background. Uh, going into your syndicate and then going inside of the random relic packs and then purchasing the random relic packs. Now, if you are mastery rank around 20 to 20, 29, you should be able to get around 30,000 standing daily. So today, the day I released this video, 7th of September, grind it out today with a, with an XP booster, go to Sanctuary Elite Onslaught and then stay for five waves with Saren, Volt, Mirage, uh, and that's pretty much it. Go with those three Warframes and you're gonna easily grind it out in like five zones or six zones without any issues. Now, uh, if you do that today and tomorrow, you're gonna earn yourself around 60,000 per uh, Syndicate, if I'm correct, I think it is uh, per Syndicate, which means you're gonna get a total of 120,000 uh, standing, which means because the relic packs are worth 20,000, you get three relics per pack. So that's gonna be uh, so 20,000, that's gonna be six times three, that's gonna be 18 relics. And you, of course, you do have a chance of getting the Nidus Prime relics here, which is gonna be very, very good. And this is sort of a free to play way of getting uh, Nidus Prime without you know any, any hassle, but it is luck based if you're gonna get Nidus Prime relics. And, of course, if you're going to get Nidus Prime as well, because some of his parts are going to be rare, some of his parts are going to be uncommon, and, of course, you do need voice traces to refine these to get uh, higher chances of actually getting these parts. So, that's one thing. 
and that is mostly about the Nidus Prime. Now, Plague Star. Plague Star, I'll explain in more, a little bit more detail, uh, you know, what's it called i'll explain a little bit more detail tomorrow in the video that i'm going to be releasing uh, as i said i'm pretty new to black star as well uh, so you know that's something that i kind of need to wait for to actually explain to you guys but pretty much all you need to do is just have a decent weapon have a decent warframe i've seen a lot of people uh use uh, just various actually warframes so i can't really say which warframe they used uh, i did check out a couple of videos but you know i'm still not sure how this is gonna function maybe it's gonna you know change out a little bit and uh, yeah we'll check out everything else tomorrow so hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did leave a like a comment and subscribe this has been the game weasel over and out peace